So Zach, we're in the middle of a series where we're talking about Acts and the early church and how the believers lived out this call um, to be missional, to be sent, to step over all the obstacles, be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Um, and so we're just talking to some of our um, church people, mm -hmm. our congregants, mm -hmm. about how it is that they live out these things of hospitality and generosity, listening to the Spirit, learning about Christ and being sent, and how they live them out in their own lives. And we got to the value of hospitality, uh -huh. um, I immediately thought of you. And so oh. I know that we're kind of cheating because you're my husband. I am? I am. But <laughs> I wanted to hear you talk a little bit about, Yeah. I thought it'd be cool for you to talk a little bit about hospitality and all those sorts of things. When you encounter somebody that doesn't speak English, yeah. you like to go talk to them. I love to talk to them. <clears throat> Even though they don't speak English. No. And you don't speak whatever language they Absolutely. might speak. Absolutely, yeah. So why do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Not saying that this person is uh, inadequate or um, you know marginalized or something, but like there is there is an element of this is the least of these, right? Like especially if they're a non-English speaker in an English-speaking context, yeah. Um, like my compassion sensors go up or something, and so it goes back to the uh, opening myself up to to being hospitable that way. It may not be a tire change, or it may not be hey, let me help you get gas for your car, but. Um, it may be like, a, hey, it seems like you are struggling a little bit with figuring out how to communicate what you're trying to say or what yeah. you're trying to do or whatever. The biggest statement I think that I've honed in on over the last probably two years is just the, the statement of what can I do? I'm taking inventory of, of myself and my means and my, you know, uh, my financial um, limitations and, and this is what I can do. Mm. We don't have a ton. Uh, as us as a family, but I think we we steward that well, and I think that we are very generous with our yeah with what we've been given. I, as you know, an image bearer of God, um, I feel like I'm called to to step into those places and say, you know, what what can I do, and how can I help um, with the with the resources I have. My pickup truck, uh, I have, uh, I keep things in there for... <laughs> so many things. Which is so great. Um, <laughs> for like, hey, you know, I see someone on the side of the road that's got a flat tire. I can help change a tire. Or this winter, um, I helped pull a couple of people out of the ditch in the snow because I have tow chains um, for my truck. I didn't spend a lot of money or time, but it was like, no, these are things I can, I can do. Like each time that, that I've stepped out and said this is a pretty menial thing to do every single time that's been met with like a oh my gosh like thank you so much or like wow like i wasn't expecting someone you know to do whatever or this was super helpful and it wasn't like i gave them a large sum of money or i said i'm gonna pay off this credit card debt for you it was just like you have this need right um and i'm going to open myself up to meet that need how do you hope that your hospitality encourages your kids that they would sort of have have those sensors up right to to say Ooh, like sensors i like yeah, that to say um hey this person seems like they you know may need a little extra or could use some assistance with whatever the case may be um and that our children would take inventory of themselves and think okay here's what i can do you know i'm gonna choose to to step in and open myself up to being hospitable I think that's what Jesus did, right? Like sure. Jesus saw people on the side of the road all the time and there was kind of this like, oh my gosh, like I need yeah. to know you and you need to know me and you're worthy of connection. And I think that in this particular way, like I think you travel through your life with this yeah. sort of eyes open of everyone, yeah. everyone gets to be connected with.